the battle over criminal justice reform in Philadelphia, why Andrew Yang keeps leading in New York polls, and Florida Democrats being Florida Democrats. Like Substack, but about topics other than cancel culture, this is the trailer. John McKinsey has spent a lot of time and a lot of money working to defeat District Attorney Larry Krasner. We're going to have robocalls, said McKinsey, the president of the Fraternal Order of Police, Lodge No. 5, from his Northeast Philadelphia office. We're going to have text alerts. We're going to do email alerts. We're going to have lawn signs. We're going to have planes flying over Major League Baseball events. I'm actually getting ready to put a Mr. Softy truck ice cream truck right outside the DA's office for the next three or four Fridays. McKinsey is in the final weeks of a campaign to oust Krasner, whose surprise 2017 victory supercharged the criminal justice movement, putting a defense attorney into a job only ever held by prosecutors. Police unions have worked to make the race a referendum on the city's rising crime rate and a repudiation of Grasner's agenda. No prosecutions for marijuana possession or sex work, no cash bail for most prisoners, and a refusal to seek the death penalty. Krasner would happily make it a referendum on the police union, portraying his May 18th primary opponent Carlos Vega as a stand-in for the FOP, running to undo his reforms. The respect and trust that exists for the FOP right now is so low, it's around the level of Donald Trump in Philly. Krasner said in an interview near his downtown office. I'm not running nationally. I'm running here. If I'm in the leadership of the FOP, if I'm a Trumpy, if I'm a fake Democrat like my opponent, then I would not want to be facing the Philadelphia electorate right now. The 60-year-old Krasner, who had never sought office before 2017, was not the first criminal justice reformer to take over a DA's office. The year before, the liberal philanthropist George Sorez funded a network of PACs to support reformers running to become city and county prosecutors, identifying typically low-profile, low-turnout contests where ad buyers could swing elections. As cities grew more liberal and Republicans in them grew less relevant, candidates who ran on undoing mass incarceration could win elections. Krasner quickly became the best known of the reformer DAs, laying off 31 prosecutors as soon as he took office and clashing with ambitious prosecutors in both parties. Former U.S. Attorney Bill Moxon, who has accused Krasner of advancing a radical pro-defendant ideology, is a likely Republican candidate for governor. State Attorney General Josh Shapiro, who hired some of the fired prosecutors that Grasner called war criminals, is a likely Democratic gubernatorial opponent. And at the same time, reformers with the same prosecutorial theories as Grasner took over DA offices in Los Angeles, San Francisco, Boston, and St. Louis. None of those prosecutors has lost an election, Grasner's opponents hope he'll be the first. In the May 18 Democratic primary, Krasner will face Vega, one of the fired prosecutors, a Democrat who blamed the district attorney for the city's surging gun crime, with more than 100 homicides so far this year.